are from like another district or another state. So uh, we ask that question because every year for the last two or three years, that's what we've been we've been receiving. So we get a large amount of students coming to our school that are either first time that the first kid is coming to school or they're coming from another school in our district or there a lot we've been getting that are coming from actually out of state so we know that um, we have to be conscious of what everybody's bringing to the table and that we hope that by having the parent meetings that um, it, even if it's as small as this that uh, you're able to communicate with us and help us to if we're not addressing because there are a lot of changes going on if we're not addressing your child's needs that you let us know this is actually our third, like our third parent night um, and so whenever we think we see a need we offer these parent meetings so that parents will communicate to us and let us know what's going on so what what we have as far as the powerpoint is going to be very general but um, we hope that that then will um, open up the doors for you to be able to ask us any questions um, or address any concerns that you have. Mama, huh? okay. um, So let us let you know. So, so uh, welcome, and we've introduced ourselves. Um, basically, um, really, we are, are on the first of and I know that you're probably going to know another Common Core lecturer or. Um, the 21st century skills and what does that mean when we can throw out all that jargon um but then in in practice what does that mean for us here at hidden trails um we do we we have been a california distinguished school we are um our students are academically challenged and they're very successful our whole feeder schools are in this area all have scores of above 900 when they used to use that floor. Um, so obviously we want to make that even with that. So we just do because most of our school you know, come to thank you prepare because um, um, the bar kids rotation is very good. Uh, we do the um, still the reputation for we are a school um, and we have a rep want to keep it that way. But at the same time we want to know that there are ways that are coming. Same so do you have to change us about to, to make sure that we are prepared for students. So we are the Red House. Kids. Every Wednesday morning, we gather in the NPR for our rallies. Every class is assigned a patriotic observance performance. Um, and uh, we, my philosophy, our philosophy is that we really want the kids to take ownership of the school. So even though we meet, so we meet every Wednesday morning as a community, parents are always welcome and they love to come, especially when their kids are performing. Mm -hmm. But through um, the assemblies, we do all our announcements, our student councils involved. They actually run the, the, the whole rally. I say good morning to the kids and then they take over. <laughs> um, and that's what we want to build. We want to build leaders. So they come in, they do their patriotic service, we do spirit competitions, we talk about our character traits, Every, everything happens there. So it's kind of like having your family dinner time. So that's the one time what, what of the time week. Huh? What time is it? At 8.15, it's, they go straight right the straight to the NPR on Wednesday mornings. Okay. They wear their spirit shirts. Um, we just had our student council election, so actually today was the first day that our student council president um, ran the rally. Um, but we haven't started our class competitions because now student council goes out and teaches all the grade levels their chair. They sit in the high grade level and they do our friend competitions monthly. But that's where we get more recognition. A week. So we do our Monwood character trait of six. Uh, eight follow John Thames pyramid of trees. That's like the TV and every day is so have it in the club. I provide this with a done uh, activity classroom. So they did and projects or projects. So, for example, an art, um, friend, being friendly is friendship is the character. So we asked the Mr. Council President said, go out and see if you can meet a new friend this month. You know, because sometimes kids all know each other, but we have a lot of new students this year. So um, that was their goal. So if they can meet one new friend. So Wednesdays are really important to our school community. But feel free to come in every any Wednesday morning. We also get guest speakers from the community come out as well. Yes. Yeah. Let me see. 
For um, on Wednesday at the the last Wednesday of the month, we do our character trait award, and so each teacher will pick a student who they felt exhibited that character trait um, and wants them to be recognized. So we do that at the end of the month there. So cool happenings at our school. Uh, we have a lot of traditions, but we also have a lot of. So the weekend rally and the patriotic observance, and that is K through sixth grade. Um, we do have a fully staffed library, and that all students have access to the library. And we have a computer lab that's adjacent to our library, and we our uh, new computer lab that just opened this year is over on the um, side over by the portables and fun, fun club. So we have two computer labs now. Um, and like I say, all students have access to that. And then, it, of course, we have a lot of other events at our school. Um, what's coming up is our Serpentine Parade on October 31st. And we have the whole school community come out and the kids get to walk through all the classrooms in their costumes and um, all the parents line up and they do this parade and then the teachers plan some fall activities for them for that day. Um, we have a no car pumpkin patch, so kids um, are able to participate and then they decorate this whole grass area and they bring in a pumpkin that they don't carve but decorate and then you'll see a whole pumpkin patch and then the kids go through the pumpkin patch and look at all the artwork that's there. We have something called flight school and it usually is at the end of the year. Fortunately, not for kindergarten because it's in the afternoon. Um, we did try it the first year with kindergarten, but um, the kids had to leave and then come back. And it, it, we didn't feel that maybe we first grade it would be best, but it's an elective time. So each um, teacher will um, say, this is what I want to teach. It can range from robotics to art to cook, no bake cooking to cheer, anything that we thought would be a fun activity that we don't really have time for in the regular school year. But towards the end of the year, the whole school is signs up for a class. And so for four weeks, one day out of the week, so they get four sessions, they all go to their elective. Mm -hmm. And um, so you'll have a teacher will have a class with first through sixth grade, depending on who signed up. So it's a one chance that everybody gets to take a class together. Um, that's towards the end of the year. We're, I think we might be trying it mid-year this year, but it is a one-time deal. But um, kids love it because it's some of the things that we get to do, they do scrapbook, anything that you feel like that you know that teachers can't normally teach during the regular day, we provided that one opportunity during the year. Um, we do have the science, we do participate in the science fair. Um, we do have band, but this year, um, at the moment, we haven't had band signups because we don't have a band teacher yet. So they're in the process of hiring a new band teacher. And so as soon as that um, gets done, then we'll be sending out information. But that's um, grades. We do have a music teacher, and our music teacher is second and third grade. Um, and then we have our K teacher who will be teaching music to our K and one. And um, then the band teacher will do recorders for fourth grade and then instruments for fifth and sixth, once they're hired. <laughs> um, and recorders um, is not optional. All students participate in the recorders, but the band and the instruments is optional. Um, we have numerous assemblies. Um, we have, uh, well, either we rotate on year, so we either have a mother-son event or a father-daughter event. So um, I believe this year it's mother and son. So that'll be in the works and planning. Um, we're just waiting to see what the committee has decided. Um, then we have our spirit day, so every Wednesday is class spirit, so it's by grade level, and the kids, you know, they got their colored shirts, what color do I need to wear on Wednesdays, and then Friday is uh, school spirit, we can wear any Red Hawk shirt they, they have, or blue and red. So, and um, then twice a month, um, ASB puts on, promotes like a um, spirit day on Friday where they dress up, so like this Friday is superhero day. And so students can come dressed as a superhero. Mm -hmm. And we really want them to participate. So, you know, we really feel.
feel that there has to be a balance in school. And even though we do emphasize a lot of our academics and our kids do well, we, we still want them to have that experience of the fun stuff that, that people forgot about. So, um, so we try to bring that in. Um, we do have our class competitions and then, of course, music out <coughs> and choir. We're just kind of holding off until we get the music and bad teachers situated. Uh, we have a garden on campus, and it's all the way in the back by Fun Club. I don't know if you've had a chance to go back there, but there's a full pond garden there. We grow vegetables, tomatoes, and there's apple trees. Apple trees. It's a beautiful oh, garden, actually. Be and and water it's, it's, it wins an award every year. Um, and so the kids, we have a couple of classes, the teachers who maintain it, so they take time off and they go out and they work the garden, they pull the weeds, they, you know, it, it's it's pretty awesome. They, they have a great experience there. Um, we do also have a running club and a track and field team. Um, so there is a, we do compete, you know, in the city track um, meet. And that's, of course, for everyone to participate because they, they compete by their, their birth year. So it doesn't really matter what grade they're in. Um, last year we also ran the OC Marathon, mm -hmm. and wow. so it just depends on volunteers this year mm -hmm. uh, if we'll have the opportunity to do that again. Mm -hmm. That's, it's huge. We usually have about how many students on our track team? Um, about 100 students participate in the track. And last year, it varies from year to year depending on how many volunteers yeah, how many we have. Volunteers last year we had about 100 students participate in the track meet, and we won second place mm -hmm. um, district-wide. And um, then we also did the OC Marathon. We had about 60 some students participate in that. And they ran, um, they ran on a weekly basis and then they ran their last mile um, down at the OC Fairgrounds. And they got to cross the finish line and get their oh, medal and all of that. And so a lot of nice students thing. run that too, like the mile, and then our mile, then the, mileage the mile club. club, mileage club and our student council ran that. So at lunchtime, the kids will go out and they'll run and then they earn their little the, then they like get recognized at our, our rallies and how you know how many, how many miles they ran and things like that. Um, we also have a um, art in action program, and of course that still is with parent volunteers. But you know parents who are interested come in, and we have the program. They just have they'll come in and teach art to the kids um, and do the art projects with them. Uh, a talent show. We have a yearly talent show that the kids audition for. Um, that's also really, it's really fun to, to see it, and that was, I totally enjoy that. Um, and then of course just performances throughout the year, and then of course all the uh, PTA events as well that they come up with. Um, we have, we typically have about two to three classes per grade level. Um, and then just a, few, a quick, we have about 500, 504 students. Um, we're a relatively small school, but um, we like it. <laughs> and um, on our school demographics, we're probably very, one of our very mixed um, population here, very diverse. So, just a minute. Our gate students count for just um, under 20%, and our English learners are about 10%. We, uh, we'll our English learners really do uh, an incredible job on reclassical. So, uh, being the English learner program within the first couple years of um, being here at. Question? Yeah. Any questions on those? Yes. Yeah. Sure. That's for um, gifted, talented education. It's a um, date for kind of statewide. Um, and we're tipping up in the. With, um, it's typically only second to through sixth grade student participates. We do um, monthly activities that the students go to when they competition or things like that. I mean, as well as, so that's like a minor, the, the pieces that and they're clustered and there's just in their class and develop assignment. Uh, and um, teachers really work on more raving. Uh, um, like, so doing the arena congress and those student depth and so we, and we ice room as well for the students. Begin to uh, identify students when uh, we can just identify students in common first grade. Well, as new making some changes, put the rollout of the core as well as during testing, there's changes that are as in um, taking of those. Now, in the previous, in all areas, identify being one in no. So, for grade we used to have six students, but we will remember now this year to fitting until the year to not be doing this year. We'll be waiting until later in the uh, make um, to do any kind of, kind of for the gate. Uh, and um, um, in a testing done program. Um, also, um, in the past, we'd be wearing first grade, but that'll um, around and on January, we've got to help us.
vegetable oil. I'll also depend. And one of the on kind of change some of the new this year. To identify the reasons with pages is to they test. You know, we used to, but if there's a high amount based on so we have scores. We we don't have any buy. So and have to um, and have to obviously just our size our plan, district have to so that's and, and not by the meeting the meeting on that's to revise those things. It's kind of why we're waiting on. Fundraiser, mm -hmm. so that spot as well as the the one little row by the um, 